Hi, good morning and welcome to today. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US there is approaching potential resistance at 16,598 as earnings from Facebook and Apple beat expectations last night, which given a shot in the arm for global equities right across the globe. Um, a move slightly higher would allow us to have a potential technical breakout right here. So this is going to be the strategic level to watch throughout today's session. If you have a look at UK 100, it's also rechallenging potential resistance. It's already had a volatile start to the morning. Uh, with that level at 67.13 being the point to beat today. If we then look at Japan 2 to 5, it's come off a little bit on the back of uh, a failure to reach an agreement with Obama um, and uh, old Abe over in Japan, uh, trying to get uh, unilateral US and Japanese tra uh, trade agreements in place and also a self-defense pact signed. Uh, it will happen, it's not happened yet. So the Japan 2 to 5 index has come off slightly today. There's also been a bit of um, Yen buying as US dollars be meeting across the board. Potential um, support there at 14.219. Potential resi resistance remains at 14.977. If we have a look at that Jap US dollar Japanese yen uh, FX pair right now, as you can see there, we've slowly been rounding off. We're slap bang in the middle of two ranges right now. Potential support at 101 spot 80. Potential resistance at 102 spot 87. Um, it's not really massively yen strength, it is US dollar weakness. So you'll be able to see that when we look at your dollar and cable in one second. Crude oil West Texas is still coming off from Tuesday's losses as um, the market believes that the is obviously believing that the Ukrainian crisis isn't escalating as some people had feared. It's just going to be skirmishes between small bunches or uh, groups of militia over in the region there. Um, we're trading below potential support at 103. The next potential support is at 100 spot 61. And the next potential resistance, if you do get a move back to the top end and things escalate, is closer to 105. Gold is still floundering around yeah. the middle of a range right now. Uh, it's been quite flat the last couple of sessions. Uh, the fundamentals still look kind of relatively bearish in the short term, uh, but potential resistance remains at 12.95. Potential support remains at 12.67. If we then jump on to euro dollar, uh, you'll be able to see euro dollar there uh, had a very volatile session yesterday. Kind of surprised me that it's set, it moved on again today, but I guess with that. US dollar weakness, uh, that's helping to drive it a little bit higher. Usually when you have this candlestick formation right here, that's quite a negative sign showing you that there's a lot of selling pressure, which obviously there was at the time. But we look like we might be rechallenging that potential resistance at one spot 38.63 soon. And if you break above that, the next potential resistance is one spot 39.68 but we're far away from breaking through there as of yet. And we finish things up by looking at GBP USD. Um, I, I had quite a strong reversal yesterday as we did close above potential resistance at 68.20, but um, we got pushed right back down there again. Um, so hopefully the sterling is gonna have retest of that uh, as we do have some decent fundamentals coming out uh, tomorrow and today. Uh, today, you've got US jobless claims due at 1.30. That could be a catalyst for GBP USD. And if we fast forward on to tomorrow, you can say you've got UK retail sales, which will be a nice potential catalyst to push this that little bit higher. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out why.